Here are the 10 most powerful, if not most dangerous families in the world. Eddie Maher was a quiet family man living in the United Kingdom who hoped to do his best to ensure that his family lived a comfortable life and did not miss out on anything. But this man who worked as a cash courier was no longer satisfied with his situation as a simple employee of a cash in transit company. So he decided one fine day in January 1993 to simply run away with the money he was carrying. This man thought of everything before taking action as he sent his wife and child to Boston before flying to the United States with a false passport and the money. Eddie Maher had a total of 125,000 pounds sterling, or about 146,000 euros. Happy days to him. Life had suddenly taken on a new taste for this man. Taking his family with him on the run, changing his identity, cutting himself off from the rest of the world and having no contact with his loved ones, Eddie Maher remained wanted by the police for 19 years until one day in February 2012, he was arrested in Missouri after being unwittingly betrayed by his son. Eddie Maher, who had been isolated from the rest of the world during his period on the run, could still take comfort in the fact that he was no longer living in hiding. Extradited to the UK and sentenced to five years in prison, he was released in 2015. Because of his incredible story, Eddie Maher has become one of the most famous fugitives in the UK. The Puccio family was an Argentinian bourgeois family that lived in the suburbs of the capital of Buenos Aires. This family, composed of the parents and five children, three boys and two girls, aspired to a happy and trouble-free life. At least, that's what they thought, because the truth is that the Puccios were anything but an ordinary family. And for good reason, in the 80s, the father of the family, Archimedes, and his two older sons carried out kidnappings for ransom and committed the irreparable against some people in their own house. If these acts helped the father and his sons to achieve their devious goals, they ended up bringing them and the other members of the family, except for the youngest son, to justice. Archimedes and Alejandro were sentenced to life in prison. Daniel Puccio was sentenced to a few years in prison, while the mother and two daughters were acquitted. The Puccio family will forever remain one of the most infamous families in the country. Their incredible story was even the subject of a movie and a TV series. Their names are Terry, Patrick Patsy, and Tommy Adams. They are three brothers of British origin, and they have always had a thirst for power and fortune. They even became obsessed with it, so much so that they started using any means to earn money in one way or another. In fact, the three of them formed a gang that specialized in robbery and extortion using violence. It is even said that they had links with the Colombian cartels. Over the years, the Adams Brothers gang grew until it reached its peak in the late 1980s. Because of the malicious acts they perpetrated and the large number of their victims, they managed to amass a considerable fortune of 200 million pounds or more than 230 million euros. But if their organization was successful and the three brothers managed to have the rich life they dreamed of, they ended up paying the price for their evil deeds by being arrested by the police and doing a stint in jail. Well, the day will come when Terry, Patsy, and Tommy Adams will serve their time and all those years of violence will be behind them. However, their family gang will forever remain one of the most feared and dangerous in the history of the United Kingdom. The Genovese family, one of the most powerful Italian-American families in New York and the United States, lived in New York City. Thirsty for money and power, this family was nevertheless confronted with other clans and therefore with tough competition. But the Genovese held their own for a long time until they were able to establish their power in the square and take over what they intended to own. If you ever watched the movie The Godfather, you must know that the rise of the Genovese family was not an easy one and that some members of the family had to pay a very high price. However, this family, which was nicknamed the Rolls Royce, was able to shine for a very long time in the New York of the 20th century. However, as powerful as the Genovese family is today, it is no longer considered the most powerful and best organized family in New York City. We will now tell you about Kim Tae Chon and his Seo Bang family. Kim was a young South Korean who was one of the most famous gangsters in the capital city of Seoul. Unknown at the very beginning, this young man who seemed to be full of spirit was especially eager to form his own group which would later be known as the Seo Bang family. This would bring him up against other rival clans that were also very active in the area. But eager for power and money, Kim Tae-chan started to weave his network in the capital 
which allowed this godfather to become one of the most influential and made his family one of the most powerful and dangerous in South Korea, especially during the 1970s. Kim Tae-chan had acquired a strong reputation in the capital in the business world, but also in other fields such as the artistic sector. But life was not as rosy as we thought for this man because as a result of the acts of violence perpetrated by his so-called family, the famous gangster was sentenced to heavy prison sentences, including 10 years for creating his group. However, after the years of ardor, Kim Tae-chan has become a completely different person, less violent and more generous, as he has even created a charity organization. Juggling perfectly between evil and good, the famous South Korean gangster became a prominent personality of the South Korea of the 20th century, and even after his death, he continues to arouse a lot of fascination. Arturo, Alfredo, Carlos, and Hector Beltran Leva were four brothers of Mexican origin who were in search of their fortune. But making a fortune in a healthy way was almost a challenge for the Beltran Leva brothers, so they turned to other methods and created the Beltran Leva cartel. The four brothers had found a new and easier way to make money, and they even linked up with other cartels in the region including the Sinaloa cartel, led by the notorious El Chapo, the most powerful cartel in Mexico. But this collaboration eventually unmasked them, probably due to betrayal, resulting in arrests and incarceration. One of the brothers, Arturo, was even killed in an operation conducted by the Marines. Today, things seem to have calmed down for this family with the death of Arturo and then Hector in 2014, and the incarceration of Carlos and Alfredo, still in prison to this day. Certainly, the cartel is almost no longer talked about. However, nothing will erase the memory of the famous Beltran Leyva family, whose name will forever be linked to the history of the largest Mexican cartels. The name may not ring a bell, but the Kinahan family is a family of Irish origin that has been living in Dubai for a few years. As you may have guessed, the Kinahans wanted to live a life of luxury and comfort in this cosmopolitan city. And yet, the members of this family especially Daniel Kinahan, are now viewed with suspicion and enjoy a dubious reputation. The reason? Well, this family runs one of the biggest Irish cartels, the Kinahan Cartel, created in Dublin during the 90s. Presenting himself as a famous personality in the world of sports, especially in the world of boxing, Daniel Kinahan was in reality leading many dubious activities that brought him a lot of money, but also a lot of trouble. Moreover, the different actors of the boxing world claimed to have cut the links with him, as well as he and his gang were subjected to sanctions from the United States, who proposed a generous reward for anyone who would provide information on this powerful family group. To top it all off, he and his family became persona non grata in the United Arab Emirates. The country even froze Daniel Kinahan's assets, as well as those of his father and brother. Having become a man without a nation, Daniel Kinahan seemed to have lost his way and has no choice but to hide until he is arrested and extradited to Europe before being brought to justice. In Melbourne, Australia, the Morans were one of the country's best-known families. Indeed, for decades, this famous family had always sought to make a name for itself in the city, in whatever way it could. But this notoriety was not all good for this family, for the Morans were in fact a family as powerful as they were feared. Louis, Judy, Mark, and Jason Moran were an organized group that operated in a number of areas. Throughout the 90s and into the early 2000s, they were involved in questionable and illegal activities that brought them fame and money. Unfortunately, this fame and money finally got the better of this family. Because of their rivalry with other gangs in the city, Mark and Jason, Judy's two sons, were murdered, while Judy was accused of killing her brother-in-law. All of these misfortunes and family disasters led Mark and Jason's wives and children to change their last names. Today, the Morans, or at least the remaining members of the family, lead a fairly normal life in Melbourne, mostly under their new identities. But it is difficult for them to detach themselves from their past and their family ties. Whether they like it or not, the name Moran will stick to them forever. You've probably already heard of the Rothschild family, one of the most famous and powerful families in the world. For the record, the family, including Mayor Armshell Rothschild and his five sons, wanted to expand their banking activities in Europe. We are then in the 19th century. Although faced with the war that was raging in Europe at the time, the Rothschilds took advantage of this period to lend money to those who were financing the war. This is how they were able to get richer and gain power little by little until they had economic domination on a global scale. 
their success spanned generations. Not only did their banking business continue to flourish, but some members became influential in political affairs. The rest you may know. Today, the name Rothschild refers to the control of all the world's central banks, but also to the control of various world events that are attributed to them. This does not diminish their reputation. No matter what anyone says, the Rothschilds will always be considered a powerful family. And we end with the Yakuza's, a so-called large family that lives and works in Japan. In fact, they are one of the most dangerous gangs on the planet who originally wanted to act like heroes. But if we look at their alleged origins, the Yakuza are far from being heroes. Well, not always. Indeed, this group known for its extreme organization does not hesitate to use violence and to carry out illegal activities, among others, which allows them to establish their power in the square. All this has, of course, made the Yakuza's a feared organization with a bizarre reputation, with their extravagant appearances and their cut fingers. But besides all this, the Yakuza also know how to make donations and to be very generous towards the population if it is necessary, as during natural disasters, for example. Oh, the Yakuza's. This family has always been and will remain one of the most amazing clans on Earth. Now, tell us in the comments which of these families surprise you the most. Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.